Hello everybody. Welcome back to Art and Outdoor Life here with John. So today um, we're going to be using some ultramarine blue mixed with some Prussian blue. We'll be using some gambage and some Chinese white along with pale green and raw umber. So getting the sky going here. I'm mixing up the two blues because I want it to be very dark and I want to experiment here with these blues. It's not my normal uh, cerulean blue I use or even the cobalt blue. So just want to get a dark sky. I want this to be uh, kind of out on a plane somewhere just, you know, outside of the mountain range. So with the spray bottle, we'll spray it here and just kind of let it do its thing. And let me get those hairs off there. Okay. So... Yeah, and when you spray the bottle, you know, it will thin out the paint some, but that's okay. Um, so I want to put a deer scene in here. I've only did a deer scene one time, so bear with me uh, while I try this. Um, by the way, uh, I hope that you're having a good day and a good morning. A good evening wherever you are. Okay, so let's see here. And I want to put a river in here as well. And um, just kind of going through a few things. We'll be using mainly the hake brush here and the fan brush are going to be the primary, primary brushes. So here with a little dark blue give these mountains uh, make the mountains make them go across yeah and uh, I, I think I have uh, the flat brush too which I'll be using um, and who knows what else <laughs> uh, but yeah let's Get this in here real quick. Get the mountains in here and kind of get our... This is a stream. This isn't a river. It's more of a stream. I didn't want to make a river this time. Um, I kind of wanted to put some deer here I, by a stream. You know, I thought that would be really neat. I've been seeing a lot of deer around my house. They actually live around my house, in my yard. And, uh, you know, so I enjoy that a lot. So I've kind of dry off the stream a little bit with the paper towel. And, uh, you know, right now it looks like it's winter time because of the paper's white. But that's okay. This is how we roll. I actually almost primed the paper, believe it or not. I was going to prime it, but then I thought, no, not this time. So let's kind of see if we can give it a little more depth here. Mm -hmm. With some raw umber. They don't mix very well, but... Uh, I just, I kind of want it dark at the bottom of the mountain base. Yeah. Testing it out here on, uh, on the foreground. I, I don't like that color. So we'll put some green in here. This is what they call pale green. So I'm always mixing up greens and stuff. I, I, you know. Green is one of my favorite colors. It always has been. I don't know why. I just love green. So we'll scrape that off and just kind of get some grass going in here. And 
uh, just kind of dabbing it with the hake brush there. Um, I've been thinking about doing a deer scene for a long time, but I, I've only done one, and that was last year. And I did a pretty good job on it. <laughs> I did. I got a lot of uh, positive feedback. But I, I don't have a reference photo here, so this is ima my imagination. I couldn't even find my deer painting I did last year. And it's around. I have all, a lot of my paintings I have, especially that one, but I couldn't find it. So anyways, uh, back to the painting. And I'm really liking that sky. So with the paper towel, I'm just going to make a moon. Don't press too hard or you'll do what I just did tore into the paper a little bit but but that's a nice white moon I got there I didn't want a big moon I didn't want to use white for my moon so now I'm with the paper towel trying to get shades even though I am uh, drying the green I'm also getting shades if, if you can see that Paper towels and napkins are so good. They do so many things. Okay, just kind of drying the paint a little bit. Yeah, be careful when you're uh, trying to really dab the paint because you you can rip the paper. This is 140-pound cold press, 9 by 12 sheet. So, Okay, let's see. This is the meticulous work here. Big ears. I mean, I'm not really trying to uh, make it perfect. I just want almost a silhouette. Hopefully it's noticeable. Hopefully I, you know. This the only tight part of the painting. I'm so used to doing fast and loose that, um, okay. Got one, see how I want this one facing me facing the camera um, got those nice beautiful ears maybe this one's just looking at at the viewer looking at us saying okay I think I see somebody and that's not too bad that's not too bad. The trick is going to be to paint around them. Um, so, so some uh, gambage here. It mixes well with the green. Um, just to kind of give it some depth. <clears throat> Maybe a little brighter on this side. I'm not sure yet. Um, kind of give it, yeah. Kind of give it that midnight glow in in a you know, in a field. And there's definitely. Between the mountain and the field, there's definitely, uh, it, it's looking like it just goes straight to the field. I really don't want that, but um, we'll see how we can work around this. Kind of brighten up that field a little bit. 
I don't want the whole painting dark. Um, let's see. Maybe try to make a little, a little mound or uh, you know, kind of give it an illusion that there's maybe some kind of a hill there, a small hill or something, and bring in some blue over that brown. burnt umber. Put a little bit more just pale green in here. And getting shapes, getting uh, shades. In the meanwhile, my deer are looking like they're in the spotlight. <laughs> like somebody put a spotlight on the deer. I don't want to hurt my deer now because you know, I'm not I'm, I'm it's only the second time I ever tried this deer so let's get some of that this is where the Chinese white comes in nicely and if you notice the Chinese white here and it should work out right won't be as bright as the moon and the moon is actually the paper itself. So it gets some really nice highlights. I mean, that's a bright moon we got coming in here. Okay. And with the fan brush here. I, I call it the turkey tail brush. I'm sorry. I've been calling it since I since I started play, painting last year, but um, I call them turkey tail brushes because they look like turkey tails to me. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, let's see. Can't believe I ripped part of the paper with the moon. Okay, some blue here just to kind of bring the white out a little bit and to uh, you know give that mountain range uh, you know yeah it is very dark out even though there's a full moon it's only covering part of the mountain, not the entire mountain. Okay. A little touch up here and there. Okay. Hey, uh, that's not looking too bad. Now, they can, we can do this over here. This would definitely work. We want to make that transition somehow from the mountain to the, to the prairie, to the plain area. <clears throat> We have to somehow make that transition, so I'm thinking it's garbage. Garbage, yeah. <laughs> garbage. Uh, would probably help make this transition. And a little bit on the mountain, maybe I can give it some of that greenish. You know, like if there's some kind of forest. Maybe not forest, maybe just some green on those mountains. Some dark green along with that blue. In the daytime, maybe there's, uh, you know, you know, there's some elements of trees and bushes on that mountain. 
Okay. Let's lighten this up a little bit. Again, going shapes. Those shapes. I also want to be a little spontaneous too, you know, just kind of let, let your mind go, let, you know, just kind of here and there. And be real careful here. With a little bit of this combage, I can make these guys stand out a little bit. But I don't want it too bright. I also don't want to ruin my deer. <laughs> so now we we kind of got an idea. Maybe a little hill is going on there. Um, okay. Let's see what we could do here. Um, I want this to be a stream, not a river. Maybe a trout stream. I don't want it very wide, but I want it to go back up to the mountain as if it was coming from the mountain. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that moon reflecting on the stream. there. Uh, looks a little funky, but I think it will be okay. Hmm. We could fix it. can always fix something, you know. And, you know, if you, if you feel like you can't fix it, then you could be creative and do something else. Now let's make this little tree here. I just want one tree um, yeah if I mess up this tree then the whole painting will go to <laughs> uh, for it'll be saved for another date so yeah let's narrow this creek the stream maybe put a little edge on the corner I should have put it on the other corner because sun or the moon is actually the midnight sun is actually on the right side therefore the left side of the stream would be brighter so that's okay I don't know if anyone would have noticed if I would have said wouldn't have said nothing <laughs> hmm a little more depth. Make it look like there's some little, little mounds in there. Just kind of like that. I don't want to do much with this tree. I mean, I can come back and paint later. I can come back and save it for another day. Right now I'm kind of, I'm very tired and I just felt like I, I wanted to paint something. So I'm going to let you go. I want you guys to have a wonderful day and evening. And please like and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for viewing. Too big, just a little bit there. Not too many leaves on it. Not right now. <laughs> and put a little bit of orange in there. Let's try not to muddy it up. Uh, okay, and. 
this should be a this and I'm just calling it a day. Talk to you guys later. Get this going here. I gotta know when to stop. Don't wanna overdo this.